Blog Talk Radio. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. I'm Armando S. Sanchez, and today we have a wonderful guest, Adam Chavez, and he's going to be on a, the lead panel. Uh, this is the 10th year at California State University, San Bernardino, and they're going to have their annual conference, and uh, it'll be on Tuesday, March 28th. So one of the panels is on the title, Hágase Contar, Make Census 2020 Count. So let's talk to Adam Chavez. He's the panel chair, regional census campaign manager, Inland Empire for Naleo Educational Fund is part of this program. So we're really happy to have him. Adam, thank you very much for being on the program. Of course, I wanted to thank you so much for having me. Tell us about what the overall panel will be about talking about this valuable topic of Census 2020. Of course. So our panel is titled Agase Contat, Make Census 2020 Count. And the reason why is because census is one of the few government functions specified in the original articles of of the Constitution. And this data is so crucial for our representative democracy. They help us determine how many seats are apportioned in the U.S. House of Representatives and how district lines are drawn at all levels of our government. They also help us make sure that more than $800 billion of federal funding are allocated to crucial programs that are in the well-being of families, including anything in health, transportation, education, and housing. And we only really get one chance at achieving a full and accurate count just because these data will inform policy decisions and determine federal funding for the next 10 years, and it's going to be important that we get it right on the first chance. Absolutely. Could you could you also mention who else will be on your panel? Of course, we are so excited to be joined by Dr. Arturo Hernandez, who is the partnership specialist for the Census Bureau based in the Southern California region. We are also excited to be joined by Quintilia Avila, the regional program manager for the California Complete Count Office, who oversees this region in Southern California. And then we also have Jacqueline Martinez Garcel. She is the CEO of the Latino Community Foundation, a space philanthropy group. And then, of course, we have my colleague, from the Naleo Educational Fund, Ellie Flores, who serves as our State Director of Civic Engagement. Wow, sounds like a real heavy-duty panel. Let me see if I got this right, if I understood you. So the 2020 census is required by law. They count how many people uh, there are in different communities, and then they say, okay, the federal government's got $800 billion, and it has to cut it up and distribute it according to the population. Did I understand that correctly? Yes, 100%. And here in California, we receive over more than $76 billion from the federal government every year based off of census data that we provided in 2010. Wow. And like you said, this happens every 10 years, so if the number is undercut, then that means less money is distributed to an area that has a fantastic need. Exactly. And in 2010, we learned that here in California, for every person that went completely missed on their census form, we lost about $2,000 per year, per 10 years, per person, meaning for every person that wasn't included, we lost $2 million. And those are critical funding from the federal government that we won't ever have a chance to get back. Wow. And also, I believe that uh, I remember hearing you say that um, also when they create policies, we're going to create new schools, we're going to create new uh, centers, they use the census numbers to determine if there's enough people there to need it. Exactly. So with the census, we are able to receive really good data on where our schools should be built, what clinics should be open, and what and what roads need to be paved. And as an organization, our membership is composed of Latino elected leaders at the state, 
federal and local level. And these data are really crucial at informing the decisions that they make in the best interest of our community. And so if we have bad data, that means we are making bad decisions that often impact many vulnerable communities. Wow. That's, you're talking about billions of dollars every year. Exactly. Wow. Billions of dollars every year that everybody comes into contact with because these billions of dollars go into programs like Medicaid, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, Medicare, Highway Planning and Construction, Section 8 Housing, Title I grants that go to local education agencies, the National wow. School Lunch Program. There's so many other programs that are really impacted by census data. As we're short in time, but we're trying to get to the emphasis that, wow, I'm seeing how critical this is. Can you tell us, though, for the persons that are will be attending this wonderful panel, could you tell me what they should bring with them, what questions they should bring with them, and how they can maximize the benefit of going to the panel? Of course. All of our guests should be ready to learn what the census is and the importance of the census. They also should come hungry for knowing more about specific data points for California and the undercount of very young Latino children, just because that's such a vast group that's always and consistently been undercounted in every decennial count. They also should come eager to hear about the challenges that are up and coming for census in 2020. There are certain challenges that we haven't seen before in any decennial count, and these challenges can have the impact of making our undercount even larger if we don't act. And finally, people must, excuse me, people should come ready to get the tools they need to ensure that there's a full and accurate count of all Latinos. So it sounds to me that like, you know, by attending your conference, there's also a, a possibility of learning opportunities where they can actively participate in the leadership role of getting the numbers correct as we're getting ready for 2020. Exactly. And when it comes to census, we all have such an important role to play. We have conducted research to see who are the well-trusted messengers in our communities to really get the word out on census. And many of us, many of us fall into those categories where we are seen as these well-trusted messengers. And so it's going to be important for us to be those mouthpieces so that our community gets fully and accurately counted. Wow, that's fantastic. Well, thank you very much for being on our program. And again, we're interviewing Adam Chavez, who is going to be on the panel chair on the Agase Contar Make Census 2020 Count. It will be at the lead conference. This is the 10th year. Un aplauso for everyone there on the campus of California State University, San Bernardino. It's completely free to the public on Thursday, March the 28th, from 8 in the morning to 3 o'clock. It's not only a panel, but I know there's a lot of networking going on, people getting to meet each other. You know, hopefully people will come up to you and say, you know, uh, I want to get involved. How can I do that? And then there's this wonderful network that helps and support what everyone is trying to do here. So I applaud your, uh, your invaluable information today, Adam Chavez, and I hope to have you in the show in the future and tell us how more people can get involved and how important this is. Of course. For us, Latinos are the nation's second largest population group, and it's super important that we have accurate data of the Latino community just because it's it's really critical for our country's economic, social, and civic well-being. As an organization, this is work we have been committed to do, and this is work that we're going to continue to do. And so if people want more information about us, they can log on to our website, www. Dot naleo dot org, and we are looking forward to seeing them at the lead. Thank you so much, Armando. Thank you, uh, Mr. Adam Chavez, and I hope to have you on the show again and give us an update on how well this is going. But success to your efforts, and thank you very much for trying to bring the right count and the right amount of money where it's needed here in the state and in the nation. Thank you so much, Armando. 
Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Armando F. Sanchez. Thank you for being on the program. If you have any questions, please contact me at lsacnational at hotmail.com. And also you can go to the campus website, California State University, San Bernardino, and look up LEAD Conference 10 and get all the data and processes. Believe me, if you go, you will spend a wonderful day meeting many, many leaderships. And hopefully one day you will also be part of it. If not, join them and ask them how can I also be part of the process. Thank you very much for being with us, and I look forward to our future show. Thank you, and adios. <laughs>